And so, welcome back to another super lazy baby woke episode. Gosh, I'm bored to death. <laughs> So, today we will practice science and we will conduct a very simple experiment. On a default Ubuntu 2004, we will remove whatever module canonical developers have contributed less than 1%, and see what happens. Don't be scared, it won't take long! I'll start from GNOME show that Canonical contributes lately. I'm not sure if they cover the 1%, but I'll be kind and I will accept that. Speaking of shell though, Ubuntu still hasn't updated to 3.36. They are still on beta. I guess they are working on screwing something downstream again. Okay, long story short, I'll find with shell and we thank them for their work. But do they contribute on files app? The only contribution they have done on Nautilus was to hold it back for two years. So I'm going to remove this. So, what's the most significant GNOME project? It's not Shell, not even close. It is GTK. Canonical engineers' contributions on GTK are same as mine. Absolute zero. So let's remove this too. In the meantime, I really don't want to go on a Canonical vs Red Hat. But one thing I want to mention, is that Fedora desktop guys contribute a lot on their free time, and that doesn't happen with canonical people. Anyway. So now we have GTK gone, but you still see that graphical thing? It is called the display server. I don't even need to check if canonical contributes there. I mean the guys actually created Mir. So, sudo apt remove, in X org. Or whatever the display server is anyway. Next I'm going to reboot, just to know where we are so far. Hmm, the sweet TTY. Now we're talking Linux. Speaking of which, does Canonical contribute in Linux? The last couple of years they do, but do they reach the 1%? I don't think so. So, goodbye Colonel. You got to be kidding me! Google? What the hell? Wow! A graphical kernel removing guard! That's a true reason to use Ubuntu I believe! Alright, kernel is out, and reboot! And so, that's the true Ubuntu desktop! Actually, I don't think Canonical contributes to Quick Emulator either, but I just can't remove this, so that's as far as I can get! I know many distributions don't contribute much upstream on the projects they use, but nothing's even remotely compared to Canonical's size. However that's not the real reason I hate Canonical. The true reason I hate Canonical is their nerves and their arrogance. Take a listen and see what I mean. Do you think there's anything um, that needs to happen to, to have a... just a complete sea change in user perception and adoption of desktop Linux. One thing that has to happen for the mind share and the market share to explode. Okay, do you want the controversial answer? I, whatever answer you want to give me. Okay, I'll give you the controversial answer. Stop making other distros and only focus on Ubuntu. There's your, there's your controversial answer is forget all the other distros. Okay, only, here we go. Only promote Ubuntu. Go. So that's the culture and mentality of this company. They develop nothing, and instead of actually start doing, they're asking others to stop. And I realize very well that ditching Canonical for IBM and Fedora isn't exactly a progress, and projects like Arch Linux can't lead Linux desktop. What we need is complete solutions from the two large community foundations we have, GNOME and KDE. And I see very unlikely anyone new to arrive anytime soon. So those are our only two choices really. <laughs> 